What's going on YouTube? Buck Rub here. Welcome to another edition of Buck Wild Trucking. I'm at the uh, pilot truck stop just north of uh, Cincinnati, Ohio. I, uh, I dropped in uh, Kentucky earlier today and then uh, brought my trailer up. I had to drop it at the facility and uh, they'll have it loaded by six o'clock in the morning. So I, uh, I came up here to the pilot to spend the night. I was hoping to kind of hang out in the driver's lounge, but this pilot don't have a driver's lounge. It has a, uh, a uh, washer and a dryer and a TV on the wall with two chairs. So I'm gonna go back out to my truck. It is colder than a witch's tent in a brass bra. And uh, I gotta figure out how to work this bunk heater because I really don't want to idle all night. Um, I guess I'll YouTube it to find out how it works, if it works, I don't know. But anyway, we're gonna we're gonna spend the night here tonight and go back and get my trailer early in the morning and then we're heading to Fontana, California. Warmer weather, I hope. So we'll see, we'll talk to you more on the trip. XBO Logistics in Cincinnati. They, uh, <laughs> I dropped my trailer here yesterday about 4.30 in the afternoon. And the guys told me, I'll be here at 5 o'clock, we'll have it loaded. Of course, the broker load said, uh, <clears throat> we'll be here at 6. And uh, I just went to check in and they haven't even started loading it yet. But they won't call me when it's uh, when it's loaded. They've told me to uh, move my tractor over to the bobtail area over here in the back of the employee parking lot. And, uh, check back in with them around seven. <laughs> so, oh man, sometimes I hate shippers. Had this wreck happen right in front of me here. Greetings from Tulsa, Oklahoma. I'm at the uh, Flying J here in T-Town. Uh, ran, man, ran my whole uh, whole 11 hours out today, and, and uh, I'm beat. And I got to get up about 3:30 in the morning. Try to get out of here about 4 in the morning. Excuse me while I try to get my truck unlocked. But anyway, I left uh, I left Cincinnati this morning and uh, and made it this far. So pretty good running. Uh, good, no, hardly any traffic. Had one wreck, and I took a video of it, but it ended up coming out sideways for some reason. I'm not real sure why it came out sideways, but it did. So I'm not gonna post it in this video. But had a wreck happen probably half a mile ahead of me it must have just happened and I saw the smoke rising up and and right there at the it, 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 where was it it was in uh, Indiana at the exit 11b and uh, I had just passed the exit when somebody hopped on the radio and said everybody get off on 11b there's been a truck hit two cars and uh, or two trucks hit a car and one of them burst into flames well, there was a guy behind me that kept me from backing up, but then somebody, after we sat there for about 10 minutes or so, we were able to get those people behind me to exit, somebody to block the way for me to back out, and I was able to back up like the 10 feet. I only needed 10 feet to get off the freeway, and uh, and I was able to get off and, 
exit and we all had to make a u-turn through the pilot there to get back on the freeway but uh everybody on the cb said that uh, everybody in the vehicles got out alive which i don't know how this one black car was just smashed and burned up but they said everybody got out alive so thank god for that but other than that one little backup i made uh i made good time getting here and i um and i made it here with about half an hour to spare on my uh on my 11 hour the uh i i, I the thing said, the uh, trucker's path showed that uh, this place had parking up until about an hour before I got here. But about 15 minutes out, it showed it was full. And, uh, and I called up here to try to reserve a parking place. And they said you had to do it through the app, which I didn't even know you could reserve parking through the app. But when I did, it said there were four spots left. I thought, ah, oh, I'm only 10 minutes away. I'll fill up and, and, uh, and reserve a spot. And uh, <laughs> for some, something deep inside me said, go ahead and reserve it. So when I brought the app back up, there were two spots left. So I went ahead and reserved it, came in here, got my fuel, came and parked in a spot, went inside to get my receipt. And the lady said they were out of spots, that there were no more left. So, and this place is packed. There's people parked along the curves and everything. So, so I got real fortunate there. But anyway, it's a nice night. I don't think I'll have to idle tonight. It's probably 60-something degrees. Got a clear sky, and um, and I'm going to go ahead and go to bed. And like I say, I'm going to get up about 3.30 in the morning and try to head out of here about 4, actually 4.15, because I have to show my pre-trip. <laughs> so get up, do my pre-trip, get out of here, and uh, see how far I can make it tomorrow. I might be able to make it to uh, probably... I can probably make it a little beyond Albuquerque, I think. I'll look at it a little closer tomorrow and then make sure I fill up with fuel in Arizona before I get into California. The gas prices or diesel prices are pretty high in California and right on the California border, so I need to try to fill up in Arizona. And uh, I did sign up for a couple of load boards today, um, and I got, uh, I got introduced to, well, not introduced, but I was given the name of a guy at another broker that they tell me I, I can just call and that they'll, he'll give me good rates uh, if he has anything going out of there. But I signed up for uh, J.B. Hunt, which everything I've seen, J.B. Hunt's useless. They're trying to turn everything into an auction. And then I signed up for the TQL load board and then the Coyote load board. So uh, once I get to California, I need to try to shag ass back to Fort Worth. It's my granddaughter's uh, birthday. And uh, we've been planning on being back there. So I'm going to try to grab something out of California and <clears throat> get me back to Dallas. Hopefully that won't be too big of a problem. But in the meantime, I'm going to bed. I was going to do some drone flying around here, but I, I don't have a laptop like some of these other guys do. Everything I do is from my phone. I need to find some way that I can take the disc out of my drone and download the footage right onto my phone. I need to, I need, to, uh, uh, yeah, out of my drone into my phone. And then I'll try to get some drone footage for you guys, although I'm sure most of you that watch me know <laughs> what truck stops and shippers and receivers look like. But I haven't done any drone, I've had this drone for over a year now and I haven't done any drone footage. Just that one time with Little Dog, and that wasn't from me, it was his footage just showing me. But uh, I'll figure something out. I've seen the little things at Love's before that do that. If anybody's using one of those that you can transfer a disc into your phone, one of those that you can get at Love's, let me know how it works, because I'm, I'm not sure how it works, but I know there's a way to do it. Anyway, I'm going to bed. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Right there in front of me.
in uh, on the phone last night. He was in Oklahoma City as I was in uh, Tulsa. Both of us stopping for our tens. So he uh, waited for me to roll and catch up with him. But he hopped on the freeway about 20, 20 miles before I did. And I, I just got oh, yeah. out. But we're going to run together to Albuquerque, maybe in Arizona tomorrow, but I have to stop just a little beyond Albuquerque, so we'll see We'll see how far we can get. We're going to get up here to Amarillo, and we're going to pull over and have us some breakfast. Only about 90 right now, Carl, this motherfucker. Amarillo, Texas. As you saw a little bit earlier, I ran into the next generation trucker and we've been running together and we decided we'd stop here, take a 30 minute break. I'm gonna grab a shower. We're gonna eat us some breakfast. But we both went ahead and topped off with fuel and he decided he didn't want to park next to my old, my old KW, so he's over here. Sorry about the wind, it's probably making all kinds of noise. There he is, that's him. And his flat top Peterbilt hauling food grade products. I just can't get over how thin he is, man. He's like a skinny man. This wind's gonna blow him over. Probably will. Probably will. Are you live? No, I'm just videoing. Oh, okay. Just videoing. Video my dirty there truck. There he is. The I'm, I'm starting to think you're the only person who loves me anymore. Nobody ever wants to meet up with That's me. I've, true. I've met up with you probably more than anybody I, I've... I think it's because you're from Texas. That may be. But you're not... You don't live in Texas anymore. I'm you're still from Texas. But you bailed. I did. You I bailed. I'm, I think I'm going back. All right. 73. 73. Shoot, I got this stuff figured out. You meet up with Next Gen and he buys you breakfast. And then walk over to the cooler and get you an energy drink and he'll pay for that too. Hell, he's a pretty damn good date. Anyway, we're gonna load up and head on west. Talk to you later. What's going on everybody? I'm at the Flying J in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Just stopped here to grab a shower. Uh, I'm pulling in, man. This is a this is the reason I don't ever park on a corner spot. I don't care if it's the last spot. I'll park on the side of the freeway before I park in a corner spot. But I'm following an Amerifreight truck into here, and uh, he rounds the back corner down by Party Row and took it too short. And, I tried to holler him at, at him on the CB before it happened, but he smacked the hell out of this other truck right on the corner. Took out his fender and his bumper, and I'm hollering at him, and uh, of course another truck started to pull out, and I, there was no trailer number that I could see on the back of the truck. It must have been on the front, but I hollered on the CB telling him that he hit, that he hit these, hit this truck, and I'm sure he knew it already, but he just kept going, and Somebody on the CB said they would stop him up here at the front, but obviously they didn't get him stopped. Uh, but I talked to the driver. The driver came out to his truck, and I told him what, what company it was that hit him. Maybe they can track it down that way. I don't know. But don't ever park on a corner spot. Some jack wagon will take it narrow and hit you. I've seen it happen too many times. But anyway, I'm going to stop in here grab a shower, mainly because it's free. There's six people ahead of me, and... Uh, then I'm gonna head down to the uh, Route 66 Casino and uh, and uh, park there for the night. And me and O Next Gen are gonna go in, have us a couple adult beverages, and uh, maybe throw some money in the on the crap table. I don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna go get a shower because I'm filthy. We'll talk to you later. No, that's a video. I thought I clicked the photo. Here we are. We are at the, what the hell's the name of this place? It's called the 66 Casino. The 66 Casino in Albuquerque. And we're going to get something to eat, get a couple drinks. 
should be fun. It's not as loud as most casinos I've been in. No, it's not. So usually you hear the machines going ding, 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 ding as soon as you walk in to yep. get everybody excited. Nobody's winning. Nobody's winning or they're not trying to excite you. Bastards. I don't know. But I'm done. All right. <laughs> Talk to you later. California at the Petro, one of like only two or three truck stops here, but everybody charges for parking. Anyway, I've dropped my trailer over at XBO and uh, I got called them at four in the morning, but I don't have a load out of here yet, so I'm still working on that, so I don't have to get up early and I'm not calling them at four in the morning. <laughs> anyway, 20 bucks a night to park here, and so I'm over here in uh, in the bobtail area and uh, you pay seven dollars when you get there and then if you spend thirteen dollars in the store you get to stay so I went and ate the buffet which wasn't good waitress was terrible did I mention I hate California I ain't coming back here anyway I made it safe and sound and I'm gonna go ahead and close this video out and uh, I'll start another one on our next adventure. So I'd like to thank everybody again for watching and until next time, I'm Buck Rowe.